Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to install this web browser called Brave and we'll be taking a look around the web browser. It has a built-in blocking ads and trackers option which means that the browser runs a lot faster. If we scroll down here, as you can see, Brave, 16 seconds. Google Chrome, 45 seconds. Here we've got Brave for CNN, 12 seconds, and then 84 seconds for Chrome. As you can see, this web browser is a lot faster. One of the best options in it as well, you don't need to download these ad blocker plugins anymore. It's already built in to this web browser as you can see block ads and trackers which is really good but that could be really bad for people that run these websites and do a lot of YouTube videos like myself who earn money from ads if we scroll up now and click on download brave you now need to go save file once it's finished downloading you can now run the setup file And as you can see, it's as fast as that. As soon as you run the setup file, Brave has installed to my machine. I didn't have to select any options or anything like that. Straight away, you have an option to set Brave as your default web browser. I'm going to go not now, but if you want to set it as yours, then press the other option. Here it says, get ready to experience the fastest and safest browser available. Adjust your shields, import your data, enable extensions. If we just scroll down a little bit, we can now go edit tab settings and we've got lots of options here. As you can see, here's all our general options. You can change your home page there. We've got quite a lot of search options there. If we go down again, we've got our security. We've got um, syncing if you want to sync your accounts up. We've got payments. We've got extensions there. Enable Adobe Flash support if you want to enable that. We got our shields here, HTTPS everywhere. Block malware. We could also block scripts if we want. And we can also put on fingerprinting protection. May break some sites though. Probably not a good idea putting that on. Ad control here. Block ads. Allow ads and tracking. Obviously, you've got this web browser now because you want it to block all the ads when you're using the internet. Which is a great thing as well because if you're using a mobile phone and you get this on your mobile phone, or you're using a laptop and you're limited on data, then without loading all these ads, you won't use as much data and it won't use as much of your battery life. If we now go on to this new tab, we've got a few little statistics here, which is pretty cool. Trackers blocked, ads blocked, HTTPS upgrades, estimated time saved. That image is loading really slow though, I just noticed. Right, let's go on to Google and see how fast this web browser actually performs. There we go, we've got Google up there, that's cool. Let's go to cars, I suppose. And then let's just deny that for a second. Let's just scroll down and go to AutoTrader and see how fast this website actually loads. It loaded reasonably quick. It reckons 7.24 seconds, but actually the page is still kind of loading as we can see. The web browser does actually feel really smooth itself though. We've got a number one come up in this notification bar at the top. Let's just click on that and see what that is. One ad has been blocked. As we can see, there is no ads on AutoTrader, which means the ad blocker built into Brave is working, which is ideal. Another website we could test this on is YouTube. If we load up YouTube and click on the first video we come across and see if it actually blocks the ads. If we just scroll down and go on to Kitchen Nightmares, and let's just see, yep, straight away, it no advert come up, which means the ad blocker is working. That is absolutely fantastic. As you could see then, I actually just closed off, but it did have 10 there, which means it did block 10 ads on YouTube. As we can see here, eight trackers blocked, five ads blocked. 
that's that is great i really this web browser is definitely worth a try if you've not tried it out yet i highly do recommend it it seems pretty nice actually i must admit i might give it a bit more of a go i hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials